Welcome to Telangana Today, the go-to destination for the latest news updates and special stories. Today, we bring you the story of the historic journey of Chandrayaan-3, India's lunar mission. Chandrayaan-3 has kept the country on its toes since its launch on July 14. After a 41-day voyage, its lander Vikram landed on the moon today at 6.00 pm IST. The Chandrayaan-3 mission was launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota, on July 14 at 2.35 pm. The mission is aimed at the lunar south pole, a region with frozen water that could be a resource of oxygen, fuel and water for future moon missions or permanent moon colony. After a series of meticulously planned maneuvers, the spacecraft looped through progressively wider ranging orbits of Earth, making its way to the moon's vicinity. On July 15, 17, 18 and 25, the spacecraft performed an orbit rising maneuver escaping the Earth's surface. On August 1, it performed the slingshot move pulling away from the Earth's orbit to the Moon's orbit. On August 5, it entered lunar's orbit. It performed several lunar bound maneuvers on August 6, 9, 14 and 16. Then on August 17, the lunar lander Vikram separated from the propulsion module. On August 20, Vikram underwent successful deboosting. The Vikram lander soft landing the most difficult part of the mission on August 23rd at 6.00 pm. The Chandyan 3 is expected to remain functional for two weeks running a series of experiments including a spectrometer analysis of the mineral composition of the lunar surface. This landing has brought us back the memories of India's 2019 lunar mission Chandyan 2. Chandyan 2 successfully deployed an orbiter but its lander and rover were destroyed in a crash failing in its mission to achieve a soft landing. The orbiter, however, is still in the space and Chandrayaan-3 will attempt a touchdown. Chandrayaan-3's lander module on August 21st established two-way communication with Chandrayaan-2's orbiter. The Chandrayaan-2 orbiter formally welcomed the Chandrayaan-3 lander module. Chandrayaan-3 has undergone several tests and ISRO has opted for a failure-based design in Chandrayaan-3. The design is focused on what can fail and how to protect it and ensure a successful landing. ISRO scientists say that they have made adjustments that it make more likely to the current mission will stick to its landing. The Vikram lander has an inbuilt salvage mode which will help it land even if everything goes wrong. The lander stands about 2 meters tall and has a mass of just over 1700 kg, roughly on par with an SUV. It is designed to deploy a smaller 26 lunar rover. The lander has also been equipped with more fuel and sturdier legs for impact. After the lander lands on the surface of the moon, one-sided panel of Vikram will unfold, creating a ramp for the Pragyan rover to come out. Pragyan will descend from the lander's belly after four hours of Vikram's landing. It will then scan the lunar surface with the navigation cameras. Pragyan's wheels have been embossed with tricolor and Israel's logo. So, as it rolls out, it will leave imprints of the tricolor and the logo on the lunar surface, making India's mark. The rover will then provide data on the composition of the moon's atmosphere and send data to the lander. The lander will communicate with the ISRO. Vikram also has other payloads that will measure the seismicity and thermal properties of the lunar surface over the south pole and check the properties of the near surface plasma density. The ISRO have already released the images of the lunar far side area captured by the lander hazard detection and the avoidance camera. The camera assists in locating a safer landing area without boulders or deep trenches during the lander's descent. Talking about the foreign space missions, Russia's first moon mission in 47 years failed over the weekend when its Luna 25 spacecraft crashed into the moon. A private Japanese space startup, iSpace 9348T, failed an attempted lunar landing in April. So, successful mission would make India the fourth country to successfully land on the moon after the former USSR, the United States and China and mark its emergence as a space power. This mission represents India's third lunar expedition and its second endeavor to achieve a delicate landing on the moon's terrain. However, no other country has ever touched down on the lunar south pole. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to Telangana today and stay tuned to our channel to watch the live telecast of the historic launch of Chandrayaan 3 on the moon.